What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. About five months ago, we talked about how in Warhammer 40k, the Adeptus Custodes are an all-male group. Is a lore uh, that has been proven many a time and will be referenced uh, in this, and that they started uh, to have female Custodes in Warhammer 40k, and it was done for no other reason than to set up women in power armor, basically, in the amazon prime uh henry cavill warhammer show that's probably not going to be happening uh well we're starting to see it in other areas and so here we go tyrus shiva kairos uh in the tithes episode two uh from game workshop there they have their own animated series on their website <laughs> People are roasting this, not just everyday normal people that see this, but like the Warhammer fans that are left, uh, just absolutely roasting Games Workshop. Uh, like I said, this all started when the worst part about when you change a lore is when you retroactively tell the fan base who trust to know, know what lore is. Mm -hmm. And then they, oh no, it was always like that. What are you talking about? What? And start gaslighting everyone, then calling them racist and sexist. But they, it's a very familiar story, I know. So here was the uh, here was the original introduction to a female custody. Uh, here, let's see if I can do it in a Warhammer voice. Uh, <clears throat> Custodian Caladice Tevaria Kesh stood upon the bridge of a Cobra class destroyer named Vigilant Flame. The warship belonged to the mighty battle fleet Solar. She lingered in the shadows at the back of the bridge, positioned at a spot where she could observe the actions of every crew member, be they in the instrumentation pits and the armament shrines, or in the case of shipmaster Lethwick, stood ramrolled straight before his command throne. There you go. You think I'll get the job? I don't know. Either way, that's the first time, just casual, she... Uh, as a custodian, and then this is what pissed everyone off. Since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians, uh, custodians for sure. And this is where Grums and other people were like, uh, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Uh, Warhammer 40k is a grim, dark sci fi tabletop game that is the number one miniature gaming IP in the world. And have note, by the way, no female custody miniatures were made. More on that later. The Adeptus Custodes are the Emperor's inner guard and much stronger, better in every way than Space Marines. And of course, men from the very beginning post another one here in the seventh and eighth edition. You can see specifically say. Uh, their firstborn son. Sorry, down here is that these men never leave Earth. You get the idea, right? Uh, there's those miniatures, of course. So the whole idea, I believe, shout out to Archcast uh, for this one, that Henry, obviously, he, has, he said that his Warhammer show is his dream show, and he's had it written in his head since he's eight. So I'm apt to believe that he's not going to want to see any mucking about of the fun modern politics stuff they do. And he just got screwed over in The Witcher, having to fight for lore <clears throat> changes uh, not to be made. And oh, there were a plenty. So my point is, he's probably going to be a little sensitive about lore changes. That being said, Amazon, apparently, they want female space marines. And Games Workshop, Woke Shop, if you're one of the fans roasting them, says, hey, we can't sell female space marines like literally can't sell the idea of the concept that will cause an outright provoke but maybe we could finagle and get you female custodies and then they didn't do miniatures for it right so it's just so the lore changes there so that when henry goes wait that doesn't work there's there's battle nuns or sisters of silence but there's, there's no and then they can go oh yes there is in fact there always has been henry you didn't know that um and so now we've gotten we've got the Miss Ma'am right here now. Uh, <laughs> Games Workshop revealed Tyrus Shiva Kairos. Ah, um, the long the first three of a long list of honorific names earned uh, fighting for the emperor. That's very nice. Um, has the privilege of being the first female custodian guard. Uh, and then they sort of go on and talk about it's really like a well we never said there weren't female custodians. Um, again it's it's a stretch and it's what's it's what le is uh, leading to everyone going this way like okay you want to play that game and so over here uh, i know we talk about reddit being corrupted but some smaller ones like the mcfarland subreddit some other gaming ones i guess they're all right so you can see here 
books never stated that orcs can't be custodians. Just go that route, right? Oh, you didn't. You're right. You didn't say that. So now anyone can be uh, the custody uh, custodians. And you can just see here the comments. Um, I love this. Pretty sure there's always been orky custodians. They just haven't been mentioned in any of the lore books, codex models, films, animation designs, discussions, or illustrations. You orcophobe. And there you go. Because at this point, all we have left is mockery. They're certainly mocking us. I, I would say with a little bit more evil intention. Uh, this is just, okay, fine. You want to do this? We will just roast you then. Um, I just, just one more before we get out of here. I like, uh, in reality, all custodies are orcs. It's a translation mistake on the part of the books. <laughs> and so there you go they're just if they we'll, we'll play the same game they play i'm just yeah okay um let me know what you think of this let me know did have you watched this episode i'm trying to find it but i don't really want to have to subscribe to games workshop just to see it but let me know what you think be sure to like share and sub if you have done that thank you if you're gonna do that thank you so long gay boy well bye